Hi everyone, and welcome back. Today, we're going to take another look at the preposition back and what it can mean when it's used with phrasal verbs. So, in a previous video, we saw that back can be visualized like this. And we can see here that the square moves to its previous position. Therefore, we can think of back as meaning previous. Now, this could refer to things like previous position, previous action, previous time, or any number of previous things. So let's take a look at some examples of phrasal verbs with back in which back means previous. How do you think we could describe this? Here, the man gives the pencil to the previous owner. So we can say, the man gives the pencil back. Gives means give, and back means previous, or in this case, previous owner. So the sentence just means, the man gives the pencil to the previous owner. All right, let's try another one. How do you think we could describe this using a phrasal verb with back? Here, the man puts the book in its previous position. So we can say, the man puts the book back. Puts means put, and back means previous, or previous position. So the sentence just means, the man puts the book in its previous position. Okay, let's try one more. How do you think we could describe this? Here, the man changes the color and then changes it to its previous color. So we can say, the man changes the color back. Changes means change, and back means previous, or previous color. So the sentence just means, the man changes the color to its previous one. So I hope this helped you understand the preposition back a little bit better and why it can sometimes mean previous. And we'll see you next time. Cheers.